Hello, my name's Hans and today at Rimmer Brothers we're going to be fitting a radiator and a top and bottom hose kit and thermostat and radiator cap to a 1965 Triumph Spitfire Mark II. Before we start dismantling the cooling system I'm going to underdo the bottom radiator hose and drain the coolant. We've already done that so I'm going to start undoing the top thermostat cover. Remove the wiring connector and this is a half inch socket. We need to carefully undo these bolts. Once we've removed the bolts we can remove the cover and the thermostat. Now we've removed the two bolts from the thermostat top housing we can undo these radiator hose clips and then carefully withdraw it all together. Oh my word, look at all that corrosion in there. This, this needs replacing, this does. Just remove the bottom radiator hose, which is uh, in a lot better condition than the top one. And now we can start to remove the radiator. We have a coolant overflow pipe and four screws down there. We'll have to just undo that bit and then we can remove the radiator. So I'll start undoing these screws which are 7 sixteenths. As you can see we've removed the four screws and the coolant expansion hose. We can now carefully lift it up and it should slide straight up and apart from catching on the fan slightly it comes off quite easily. While the radiator's out of the way I'm going to clean up this mess that's in the thermostat housing. I'm going to prise off the gasket and hopefully all this gobbo will come off with the... oh yes. Actually doesn't look too bad inside. We'll clean that up nicely, wash some new water through it and it'll be fine. We're going to refit the new thermostat housing and thermostat. Um, I've cleaned most of the stuff off but I'm just going to use some scotch bright to clean up the surface. Once we've done that we can get the uh, gasket. I'm just going to put some very thin layer of silicon sealant on. You don't want to use too much of this. Less is more as it were. Leave it a few minutes while that's going off. This is the new thermostat. Make sure it's got this little bleed hole. That lets the air out as you fill up the radiator. That goes in first. Doesn't really matter where that bit goes. Then fit the gasket. And lastly, we've got a replacement second hand thermostat housing. We've refitted the old sensor and we fit that on top and two bolts go in and we gently tighten them up. Okay we're ready to refit the radiator. As you can see We've replaced the bracket for the coolant expansion bottle and uh, I've just loosely fitted the, a new screw and we can pop that in there and we'll tighten it all up later. We've got the new radiator and if we carefully lift it into position
and we can refit the four screws that go into the top with this bracket. Okay, we're going to fit the bottom radiator hose. I've refitted two clumps onto the hose and we're going to gently fit it onto the water pump housing first and then gently onto the bottom of the radiator. Just going to wiggle it around so it gets into the right position and I'm going to use a proper Jubilee clip nut driver instead of a screwdriver. Makes the job so much easier. Gently tighten up the clips. No need to over tighten but make sure they're not loose. Replacing the top radiator hose, I've placed the new clips onto the hose and we'll insert it onto this bit, slide it all the way up and then we can pull it back. Now it's in position, line up the radiator clips. Much easier using a nut driver. Job done. Okay, we've now got the coolant bottle in position. We're going to gently tighten up the bolt, just squeeze the clamp. I'm going to do it with my fingers. Doesn't need to be tight, just needs to hold it in. Before we fit the pulp, the coolant pipe, I'm just going to top it up with some ready mixed antifreeze. Fill it to about third to halfway full. And then we've got the new cap. As you can see, there's a little grommet goes in the middle. We then screw that into the top. And we're going to reuse the old hose. Gently feed it through the grommet all the way to the bottom and then onto the expansion top. We can now fill up the radiator with coolant and uh, when we put enough in we can replace the radiator cap. Run it up, check it for leaks, top up if necessary, should be okay then.